Next, we will hear remarks from Ms. Rogers, our ACPS Teacher of the Year. Good evening. Um, as I, a PE teacher, I guess you could imagine that I would rather be at the start line of a marathon or uh, leading 16 acts of 75 kids doing circus and tumbling acts. I would feel much more comfortable. Um, however, here I am, and it is a very powerful moment to be right here. Among you, extraordinary and dedicated colleagues, leadership, and ACPS community, I am thankful. Author Mary Rose O'Reilly explains, one can, I think, listen someone to existence, encourage a stronger self to emerge, or a new talent to flourish. Good teachers listen this way, as do terrific grandfathers, and grandmothers, and similar heroes of spirit. Almost 20 years ago, a forever friend and former ACPS colleague, Jane Carlson, listened me into existence as an educator. Single-handedly, it was our developing relationship and Jane's belief in me as an educator that slowly grew into the career that I have come to know and love, a career that fulfills my sense of purpose with personal and professional accomplishment. Sarah Ban Brethnack writes, when we cherish our dream and then invest love, creative energy, perseverance, and passion in ourselves, we will achieve an authentic success. Every day I can see it in their sparkling eyes when their resilient efforts pay off. Look, Miss Rogers, I did it. And if only I had 72 pairs of eyes as they build their own physical literacy. Or I can hear it in the collective yes of an audience when a student fails at their first try, yet goes at it again in front of 400 peers and finds success during an all school circus performance. And I can feel it in the connection of a fist bump as a student leaves the gym following a resetting movement break. And so I'd like to express my deepest gratitude to the greater Alexandria City Public Schools community for this humbling honor this evening. And um, as Dr. Is it Paschel? Is that right? Pascal? Um, also expressed, uh, this would not be without the love and dedication of my family, who sometimes pays attention. <laughs> <laughs> she, she actually did my speech last night, and I, or this morning as we were trying to get out the door and a really hustled bustled, and I was thinking, maybe she could just do it for me. She seems very poised and confident. <laughs> um, uh, and my principal, Rachel Dishner, who I've, is a dear friend, um, and uh, I don't know if he's here tonight, but um, PE curriculum specialist, Michael Humphreys, um, who has uh, just nurtured me along this way. Um, specifically, I'd like to say thank you to those. Um, for honoring and valuing the time and effort that goes into creating a dynamic and meaningful physical education experience that ultimately, I hope, listens every student into their own existence, physically, academically, and emotionally. So thank you for having me here. <laughs> 